Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome as we get to celebrate together for the first time in first Christmas in a couple years. So it's good to see so many of you are here and have come back. It's also like shocking because people have kids have gone gotten really tall and things. And I welcome those of you in the front, I welcome those of you in the back, I welcome those of you in the balcony. Though that is no excuse for you not coming down to say hi afterwards. And your kids probably are going to want to say hi to Moo Cow, uh, who has fresh batteries. So for those of you that were here a couple years ago, you'll remember who Moo Cow was. Um, so I pray that this time will be a time of praise and worship. We're having a series of lessons and carols, so it's very interactive this time. You'll be doing a lot of singing, although we won't be standing on all of those hymns during the lessons, uh, just during the first and last hymn, pretty much. So uh, do look ahead, because we're not singing all the verses of every hymn. If we did, we would be here until, you, you know... <laughs> this will become a midnight service. <laughs> so, uh, again, I hope and pray that, that things, uh, that God's Spirit is felt and present to you. You do have in your insert, one side is part of the bulletin service, the other part has some announcements uh, about things. I uh, would note that because we're meeting tonight, we are not meeting on Sunday. But we are going to meet Sunday, January 2nd at 9 a.m. downstairs for breakfast and a hymn sing. So come and join. We're going to sing Christmas carols um, and those kind of things as we just enjoy ourselves again and worship to open up and bring in the new year. And then as of the 4th, January 4th, Tuesday and Wednesday, Bible studies start anew. And for those of you that aren't here on a regular basis, if you want to join the Tuesday Bible study, it is by Zoom. So you can do it from your home. In your PJs. <laughs> you just need a computer and some internet access. Pastor John, can I bring up one thing uh, about the thing, the hymn sing we're going to have on the second? For those of you who don't normally come but might want to come, in the back of the room we have these sheets that have, if you have any song requests that you want to sing for that, please do fill them out, give them to either Pamela or myself, because it's only going to be as successful as people interact with us. That's all. Okay, thank you. And now that the announcements are done, let's prepare our hearts and minds for worship as we listen to the prelude and then as we have the lighting of the Christ candle. the bells, sweet silver bells all seem to say, throw cares away Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old meek and the bold, ding dong ding dong that is their song with joyful reek, all caroling one seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere filling the air, oh how we found raising the sound oh hill and dale telling their tale gaily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer Christmas is here, ding dong Merry, merry Christmas, with joy, merry, merry caroling. On, on they send, on without end, their joyful tone to every home. Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old, meek and the bold. Ding dong, ding dong, that is their song, with joyful ring, all caroling. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling. 
filling the air. Oh, how they fell, praising the sound. Or hill and dale, telling their tale. Daily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. On, on they send, on without end. Their joyful tone to every home. On, on they send, on without end. Their joyful tone to every home. Ding dong, ding dong. Advent has been a time for waiting. We wait for God to send divine love and light into our dark world. But tonight, we celebrate the light of the world which came to us at Christmas. Tonight, we light not only all four candles, but also the Christ candle. We give thanks for the light of Christ shining in the lives of all God's people. With choirs of angels and with all the heavenly hosts, we sing glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace and goodwill to all. Let us pray. Give us, O oh God, such love and wonder that with shepherds, wise men, and pilgrims unknown, we may come to adore the Holy Child, the promised King, and with our gifts worship him, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please stand if you're able and join me with the call to worship responsively. <laughs> Come to Bethlehem, come on bended knee and see what has come to pass as the Lord has revealed it to us. Come, come away from your noisy world to hear the song of angels. Come, come away from your skepticism and hesitation to meet Emmanuel, for God has come to live with us. Let us worship the Lord, the Christ. Please remain standing as we do our first hymn, number 83, Once in Royal David City. We're only going to be doing verses 1, 2, and 6. to stand for the bidding pair, but that's okay. <laughs> Beloved in Christ, at this Christmas tide, let it be our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass and the babe lying in the manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of loving purposes of God. 
in the Garden of Eden that the seed of women shall bruise the serpent's head. Genesis 3, 8 through 15. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God in the trees of garden of the garden. But the Lord called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked. So I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me. She gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, 
The serpent deceived me and I ate. So the Lord said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all the livestock and all the wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers he will crush your head and you will strike his heel. This is the word of the Lord. Um, will you join us in the hymn 129, O Holy Night, verse 1 and 2. God promises to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall the nations of the earth be blessed. Genesis 22, 15 through 18. Then the angel of the Lord called again to Abraham from heaven. This is what the Lord says, because you have obeyed me and have not withheld even your son, your only son, I swear by my own name that I will certainly bless you. I will multiply your descendants beyond number, like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will conquer the cities of their enemies, and through your descendants all the nations of the earth will be blessed, all because you have obeyed me. Now we're going to turn to uh, hymn number 72 and sing verses 1 and 5.
Our next reading is Isaiah verse 9, 2, and 6 and 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with, righteous, with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. And the next hymn will be number 74, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus, both verses. that Christ will bring is foreshown in Isaiah 11, 1 through 9. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of power. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears from his ears. But with righteousness, he will judge the needy. With justice, he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips, he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be on his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. The cow will feed the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the hole of the cobra, and the young child put his hand into the viper's nest. There will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And we'll sing hymn 213, verses 1 and the chorus, verses 2 and 3 and the chorus.
Our fifth lesson is Micah chapter 5 verses 2 through 4, although I'm going to also read verse 5. The prophet Micah foretells the glory of little Bethlehem. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from old, from ancient times. Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labor gives birth and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they will live securely, for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth, and he will be their peace. Our next hymn is O Little Town of Bethlehem, verses 1 and 3, number 95. We now move into the New Testament, in which we have the angel Gabriel saluting the Virgin Mary, Luke 1, verses 26 through 38. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to marry, to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name of Jesus. He will be great, will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child at her old age, and she who was said to be barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. And then the angel left her. With God giving us so much, 
In terms of grace and salvation, it's fitting that we look, especially during this Christmas season, for ways to give back. COVID has caused some adjustments in our service. The offering plate is in the back. You can leave your offering in the plate uh, as you go, if you wish to leave something. Anything that is not directed towards one church or another, specifically like in a check, will be given to the fund in the city for uh, utilities or heating assistance. We've done this in the past for a fair number of years. And now we're going to have the Christmas version of Hallelujah. I've heard about this baby boy who's come to earth to bring us joy and I just want to sing this song to you it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall the major lift with every breath I'm singing hallelujah hallelujah Expecting child, they searched in to find the place for you were coming soon. There was no room for them to stay, so in a manger filled with hay, God's only son was born. Oh, hallelujah!
my sins would drive the nails in you. That rugged cross was my cross too. The every breath you drew was hallelujah. 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 If you would stand as you're able and join me in this prayer of dedication for those gifts which are going to be given to help those and further the mission of Christ. Blessed are you, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have these gifts to share. Accept and use our offerings for your glory and for the service of your kingdom. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Please be seated. And now we move to the insert there. You're on. For the seventh lesson, Matthew tells of the birth, birth of Jesus. This comes from Matthew chapter 1, 18 through 23. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. If you would please turn the hymnal to 93, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. We will be singing all verses. on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled.
Our next lesson comes from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through 16, in which the shepherds go to the manger. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. Our next hymn is number 125, While Shepherds Watched Their Flocks. We will be singing verses 1 and 4. For our ninth lesson tonight, we will be reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 14, as John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness. But the darkness has not understood it. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children not born of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh, and made His dwelling among us, 
And we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. If you would turn to hymn number 90 in your hymnal, we'll sing verses 1 and 2 of O Come All Ye Faithful. suggest you keep these bulletins, not just because they have a wonderful picture on the front, but because there's a list of names on the back. These are people that we are currently praying for and with, because that is one of the ministries that we have as children of God, as the people of God. I ask you to take these home, pray for them, even if you don't know everything about them. God does. And God will answer prayer. We're going to take a moment for some prayers of the people. And then we're going to sing the Lord's Prayer, which is on page 632 in your hymnal. So you may want to prepare for that. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, you are so good to us. We turned away from you. You had no obligation to save us. But out of your great love for us, you made a way for us to be reconciled to you. When the time was right, the Son came and suffered and died to cleanse us of our sins. And then he was raised again, that we might have new life in him, be new creatures living a life that honors you and one that is full of the Spirit. In that Spirit, Lord, we pray for those who are sick and are hurt, whether it be spiritual or physical or mental. Lord, make them whole to serve your purposes and to do your will. We ask special prayers for Craig and Karen, for Ann, for Harper Atkinson for Michael Corey and for John and Terry Dua, for Greg, for Mike, for Patty, for Vicki, for Madonna, for Evelyn and Gerald, for Libby, for Bob, McElhenney, and for Betty Rubel. Lord, we pray that you would move in their lives, strengthen their bodies, strengthen their spirits, and strengthen the families that surround them. And may they all know your peace. We pray for our military and those individuals who are serving this country in there. Lord, keep them safe so that they can continue to serve you. 
We pray for our shut-ins, those in the nursing homes, for persecuted Christians worldwide. Not everybody gets to celebrate Christmas like we do. And even here in the U.S., those recovering from natural and man-made disasters. And in the world at large, people who are impacted by war. Lord, we pray for your peace to come upon them. And we pray for your peace, especially upon those who have lost loved ones for whom this time is not the time of celebration that it is for most. May they look forward to celebrating with those loved ones when you come again. Jesus, Prince of Peace, come back soon. Bring your peace to the entire world as every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that you are Lord to the glory of God the Father. And Lord, Holy Spirit, be poured out upon us. Give us wisdom and understanding. Give us courage, brave hearts to reach out and love and risk. And give us persevering spirits to overcome obstacles and to be faithful witnesses that one day we may hear those words, well done, my good and faithful servant. And Holy Spirit, be poured out upon this church and all who are in it. Lord, expand its boundaries and ministries. Keep it from evil. May it be a light in the darkness of this world, one that reflects accurately your light. And may we who are here be beacons of joy and of hope that lead others to know your love, your grace, your mercy, even as we ourselves have experienced it already in Jesus Christ. And for those who do not know, may they come to know. And may they take you as Savior and Lord. And then together may all that we do and all that we say be to your praise and your glory. For we ask this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father. Join me in singing hymn number 89, A Silent Night. And you have little candles, they're electric candles. And at the appropriate time, it would be wonderful if we saw the lights from the candles growing row by row, and maybe even the lights overhead going down bit by bit. Join me in number 89, all the verses.
now, may you carry the light of Christ out into the world. Celebrating his birth, but looking towards his coming again. And sharing the good news of salvation with all whom you meet. Because all need to hear. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship and power of the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forever. Amen. Thank you.